Good morning. It is currently 6.47 a.m. on Friday, July 24th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up, and I don't know why I'm so excited all of a sudden, but this is five more minutes. See, you know, I was all set to just beat myself up for breaking my one-day-old <laughs> new morning routine by, uh, going back to sleep for another half an hour after taking Luna outside, but uh, I don't know, maybe it was worth it. I am, however, annoyed because my temporary fix for my chair was more temporary than I had hoped, and so my chair is wobbling again. Grr. Um thought I'd maybe talk a little bit about dreams today. <clears throat> I had a weird dream uh, this morning. I feel like it's been a while since I regularly remembered my dreams, but today I had a dream where uh, I was a guest on the Comedy Bang Bang podcast, but it wasn't going very well. This wasn't a like a nightmare. It was more like, it was just a little frustrating. Like, like, uh, I wasn't upset or mad or scared. It was more just like, why isn't this going better? That's annoying, that sort of feeling. So that was disappointing um, to have my dream feel that way. Um, one of the things, though, about dreams is, I think, of course, most people know that you have your dreams during the REM phase of sleep. And so you are more likely to remember your dreams if you wake up during that phase. But of course, one of the other reasons you would not ordinarily want to do that is because that is one of the deeper phases of sleep. It's not the deepest, contrary to so what some people think. But uh, at the same time, you know, waking up during that phase, you are certain to feel very groggy. However, it is absolutely true, and I, or it, it's, it, I, okay, I'll say this. It's anecdotally true in my own personal experience that is based on reading a book about it that one way to more reliably remember your dreams upon waking is to essentially just make a point of writing them down immediately upon waking anytime you do remember one but also just to uh, when you go to bed to kind of just tell yourself to remember them and kind of try to have that be like one of the last things you go to bed thinking which is sort of weird like why does that work I don't know but it does I've tried it um, it's not necessarily a guarantee that it's going to happen like the first time, but uh, basically it's something that you can practice and improve on. And I haven't worked on that recently, uh, just because, you know, it's, it is of dubious value. Dreams are interesting, but uh, are they helpful, productive, worth effort? Hmm. They can be. Uh, one thing that I was really interested in for a while is lucid dreaming, which is a dream where you realize that you're dreaming. And then sometimes from there, you can actually start to control your dream. Um, I played around with trying to make that happen for a little bit, and, uh, and I, I got it to happen a couple of times, and it's pretty cool. Uh, the only reason I think I haven't spent uh, more effort trying to do lucid dreaming and that sort of thing is just that uh, it requires kind of a concentration and a mental effort right at the time that you, normally speaking, don't want to do that, meaning when you're going to sleep. And also just the idea of uh, a lucid dream, just like any other dream, disappears upon waking. And so technically, generally speaking, when you remember a dream, you're almost never actually remembering the dream. You're remembering thinking about the dream after waking. And so you can remember the thoughts that you have before the dream disappears completely. 
and then you can remember having those thoughts. You know, I this is still the thing that I found in the park the other day, and I just it, I like gesturing with it. Someone called called it my magic wand in the comments, and I I it's hard to dispute. It's pretty great. I don't know. I so I like play, just holding it in my hand and uh, uh, uh. dreams. Uh, one of the reasons that I had gotten into lucid dreams in the first place is that there is a movie called Waking Life which is super weird, but I recommend it. It is um, Art Richard Linkletter is the director, uh, writer, director of that one. Uh, and uh, he, it's, it's a rotoscoped animation movie, meaning it was filmed with real actors, live actors, and then animated over the top of it. And all different segments have all different styles of animation, which is kind of cool. Um, and it's got a very surreal plot where very gradually a character um, starts to realize that he is dreaming but then he'll keep waking up and still be in the dream and he's starting to get a little bit freaked out why that's happening and I and and it the plot is very dreamlike as well too so it'll kind of go from scene to scene and uh, you know, some of the scenes will really just be about he meets someone and that person's talking and it doesn't really move the plot forward. It's not a plot-heavy movie. It's really all about the experience, which is in keeping with the theme that it's all about dreaming. Anyway, I really recommend that uh, movie, and they talk about lucid dreaming in it. And dreams are just cool in general. So what about you guys? Have you ever had a lucid dream? All right. Happy Friday, everybody. I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.